Hello everyone. I hope everyone's day is going well. This is a rainy Thursday and I decided to come to you with my dinner, which I'm making. Um, I decided to make a personal pie, pot pie. So we have here our mixed vegetables, our chicken, and our condensed mushroom soup. Okay. And over here, I already got my microwavable bowl. You can also put it in the oven. And I also have the pie crust. And I put it in the crust. That's the inner crust to my pie that I've already placed. Now I'm going to show you all the ingredients I'm using so that you have an idea of how I got this far. Give me a minute. Okay, now this is the um, mixed vegetable I used, okay? And this has carrots, green beans, and corn, and peas. Okay, that's the mixed vegetables. I also used the chicken fajita. That way, you know, you don't have to be um, sitting there cutting up chicken, boiling chicken, and doing all that. This is the quick way to do it, Okay. Okay, as far as pie crust, this is the pie crust that I use, that I always use, and it has two counts in it. And also, this is the um, mushroom condensed soup that I use. Of course, if you're doing a personal pie, you don't need this many ounces. You get a small can, okay, because you're doing a personal pie, okay? So, right now, only thing I have to do right now is just pour this inside. Okay, everyone, we done poured all the soup that we needed to pour inside of this microwavable bowl. And what I have done now, we have gotten our um, pie crust and we have laid it out. This is what it looks like when it's laid out. Okay, and this is actually going to go on top of here like this without ripping it. You see how I just laid it on top? And what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to make it go around the bowl. I'm going to show you. Give me one second. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, this is the pie crust, the one that I put on top. And what I did was go around the bowl without ripping it. And going around, what you're doing is you're pinching. You're pinching all the way around because you want, you're want sealing the pie crust to the bowl. Okay? That's what you're doing. Now, you see a hole in the middle? You put a X right there. That's so... Okay, everyone. The X that's in the middle is so the soup, when it's, when it's heating up in the oven, it won't overflow and make a mess of your pie, okay? That's why you always have to put an X at the top, okay? So what we're doing next, we had to get some egg. One, this is one egg that I've broken and it's egg wash, right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on the top of the pie. You know, it's gonna go all over the pie before you put it in the oven. I'm gonna show you. Give me one second. Okay, everyone, this is the egg and it's all the way around. And so you get one of these brushes and you just brush all the way around and make sure it's all over. This is before you put it in the oven. This is what's gonna brown. Give give your um, pie this beautiful golden brown color, okay? So you make sure it's it's all over. You don't have to use it all, cause okay. As I was saying, the um, egg wash was to put the color on your um, pot pie. Now that we've done that, we're gonna put, we putting it in the oven. This is the pie in the oven. i um, set my um, dial at three fifty, okay. And we're going to check on it until it's the brown color that we want. So, I'll be back with that um, and show you the finished results, okay? All right. Okay, everyone. Our personal pie is done. This is what it looks like. This is our personal pie. Chicken pot pie. You could either leave it in a little longer and it'll get a little browner. But I think this is good enough for me. And what we do now is let it sit for about 15-20 minutes. 
the cool. You know, and then you it'd be ready to eat. Okay, I thank you all for watching. Um, everybody has their own way of making their own pot pie. This is just my <clears throat> way of making my personal pie. So I hope you liked what I showed you and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for watching.